Hi, I'm Perry from Mesa Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to change the primary Jetpack user on your WordPress website. So when you're in users, you can tell which one's the primary user with this little green icon next to it. In this case, it's the demo user on this um, test account. So instead of actually going into settings of Jetpack on your WordPress website, you're going to actually go to the WordPress.com account that you linked to your Word WordPress website in the first place. So this website's assuming you've already done that linking and just want to change primary users to maybe a different admin. Maybe you're switching the site over to someone else. So go into your WordPress.com account and go to settings. Scroll to the bottom of settings and hit manage your connection. And then go ahead and hit disconnect from WordPress. So this is just a survey. We're going to skip it and then disconnect. So now that we're disconnected, we're going to go ahead and refresh the user page. And we'll see that that green icon has disappeared. And then we head over to Jetpack and it will show that we need to reconnect the account. So this is going to be really it. Now before you hit connect to Jetpack, you want to make sure um, you can only disconnect your account in the first place if you're logged in. Uh, under the primary Jetpack user for WordPress. So we were logged in. In this case, um, I'm not going to go log in under another um, user, but you get the idea. You'd need to log out, go log into your own account, and then connect it again. So just do the whole connection process, hit connect, and accept the permissions from WordPress.com, and then your green symbol will come back on the new user. So start with the free we're just going to show you here uh, users when I've done this as well I've noticed the subscribers inside WordPress um, even though you can this one we disconnected they're gonna they're gonna come back again see how it says we're not connected so we're reconnected the icons back we're gonna refresh this page and everything's back to normal and you'd have your people and then for shipping this is another big deal because you can add your credit card to a, uh, an account you don't want uh, people to have that ability for shipping labels etc so hopefully this is helpful for you and we hope to see you on more videos to help you with your wordpress setup and um, help you with anything else that you need leave a comment in the, uh, or any questions below in this video and thanks so much for watching